In this episode, we'll be talking about seven simple ways to make your online course videos less boring. Welcome to the Online Course Coach Podcast, brought to you by TrueFocusMedia.com. Whether you're a beginner or expert, this is the podcast for the latest in online course creation tips, news, interviews, and ideas. And here's your coach, Jeff Long. Welcome back to another episode of the Online Course Coach Podcast. And again, my name is Jeff Long. And if you've been listening to to these last few episodes, you've noticed that we've been talking primarily about videos and how to improve your course videos. And part of that reasoning is because we all know how important your video content is. And so if you just slap together a couple videos and make it a course, I can almost guarantee that your course won't be successful and it won't be effective. And I think, I think the effectiveness goes before the success part, obviously. So we've been talking about different ways to improve your course videos, uh, things like um, three effective ways to use video in your courses. Uh, the last episode and before that, we talked about five strategies to create effective videos if you don't want to be on camera, uh, five reasons why you must be, uh, excuse me, five reasons why you must use video in your online courses. Those have been the last several podcasts uh, that we've been talking about. And part of that reasoning is uh, for the last few weeks, I have had a free video series all about how to make effective videos for your online courses in half the time. So if you go to easyvideoforcourses.com, you can actually learn some awesome things like 10 strategies to create effective videos in half the time seven rookie mistakes people make in their online course videos and how to fix those, and my faster, smarter, cheaper tools to create online courses and videos. And here's the cool thing. Uh, In these free three-part videos, I have uh, several prizes and discounts I'm giving away that equal uh, several hundred dollars. And then I'm also releasing a new course called Easy Video for Courses that teaches you how to create effective videos without spending a lot of time, a lot of money. You know, even if you're not technical or if if video is not your thing, you can definitely walk away with a, a better understanding of how to create effective videos. And in that course, I'm also running a a contest that has about $500 worth of prizes in it that I'm giving away to people that purchase that course. So at the end of this podcast, I'm going to go a little more in depth about what is included in the course, but just as an overview, uh, there are 10 modules and we go in depth about the strategy of how to uh, create videos for your courses, as well as the techniques, the resources, the equipment, the, uh, you know, I go in depth about lighting, how to do lighting, or hey, maybe you don't want to do lighting at all. You just want to use the sunlight. How do we light a video just using sunlight. I go into a lot of those uh, details that can seem confusing to a lot of people. There's even a module dedicated to DIY iPhone for video uh, just for your courses. Or if you have a, a different smartphone, Android or other smartphone, the same things apply. And so we'll go over the right apps to use, uh, the right equipment as far as, uh, you know, tripods and audio and all that stuff for your smartphone. And then I also have some awesome bonuses, like 11 creative ways to make videos, even if you don't want to be on camera, the easy video for course creators template, and then video teaching techniques, six strategies to teach effectively on your videos. Now, I do have three different price points. Maybe, you know, you don't want to spend a lot of money. You can buy the film student package. Or there's the Spielberg package. And then if you want all the bells and whistles, uh, the 10 modules, five bonuses, and a Q&A webinar, there is the Oscar package. So there's different price points depending on what you value most. So again, I'll go a little bit in depth about that uh, at the end of this podcast. Uh, But if you go to Easy Video for Courses, you can sign up to get the three free videos. And then you can learn more about the course that's being released. Now, I will say this, the course is only live for a short amount of time. So this podcast is coming out here uh, on Monday, 
and the course closes on November 11th. So if you've been listening to this podcast for any amount of time, this is not a surprise to you. I have been telling you about this for several weeks. Uh, but if you're listening to this, uh, maybe you're new. Welcome to the uh, online Course Coach podcast. Uh, that course is coming down November 11th because I do need to prepare for that Q&A webinar for the people that buy that Oscar package. Uh, and then I might release it um, sometime next year. I'm not really sure. I do know that uh, you know it'll change a little bit. Uh, it, the price will will increase. And so now is definitely the best time to buy the easy video for courses system that I'm releasing. The beauty of easy video for courses, which is my three free videos as well as the actual course, is you can really apply almost all the content to your marketing videos, sales videos, Facebook Live videos, any type of video you want to create, you can use these systems in your business. So while it is focused primarily for online course videos, you can definitely use these uh, for all your other types of video content. So it's kind of a, a, a two for one. You know, you, you spend the money once, you can use it for so many different applications. So you can go to easyvideoforcourses.com to learn all about that, the three free videos, as well as the course that's available here uh, until November 11th. All right, well, let's jump right into the show here. Uh, today, we're talking about 10 simple ways to make your online course videos less boring. And I was just talking to somebody in a private Facebook group about this very thing. She was asking for feedback and, you know, she said, hey, be, be gentle, be nice. And so, uh, you know, I was, of course, I wanted to encourage her because I realized that creating videos is usually one of the more complicated parts of your online course. And yes, I know we can just create PowerPoint based courses and that's, that's okay. Uh, or maybe we just do screen capture videos and that's, that's actually better than a PowerPoint driven course. But I think a course that has uh, mixed videos, so maybe you're on camera for some of it and there's maybe some screenshots or excuse me, some uh, screen capture videos. And maybe there is some PowerPoint driven videos, but it's not dominated by just one of those. And so, you know, a lot of times people say, how do I make my, my course videos uh, entertaining, exciting, educational, <laughs> not boring? And so here are some of these strategies that I use myself, as well as all the uh, people I've worked with uh, since 2003 and a lot of my coaching clients as well. All right. So the first strategy I think you can use to create videos that aren't as boring is to smile in your videos. And this is something I try to do in my own videos. You know, I, a lot of times I hear people say as they're watching themselves and listening to themselves on video that they're just not satisfied with how they look, how they act. And sometimes that's because uh, many times when you get into teacher mode, you're so focused on teaching and making that effective, you don't think to smile. You don't think to, you know, have a, a gleam in your eye and a, a positive kind of inflection in your voice. And so just think if you can be smiling, uh, so smile as much as you can, have a smile on your face right before you hit that record button, uh, during your videos, you know, while you're bringing up the different points and just generally have a smile on your face. Now, the second simple way to make your online course videos less boring is similar to that is laugh right before you start each take. And that might seem cheesy, it might seem goofy, you might feel weird, but for the most part, you're probably gonna be by yourself. Um, maybe you have somebody running the camera and that's fine, but you know, start to laugh. I, and I do this myself, and trust me, I feel stupid. Uh, but if I laugh right before I start each take, I just have a smile on my face, I have a better attitude, I'm, I'm more upbeat, and I feel like the, the take or the version of that, that uh, video that I do just looks better. Now, here's kind of a freebie with the first two, which is smile and then laugh right before each take is uh, what I do a lot of times is kind of shake off or, or jump up and down, do some jumping jacks and just kind of shake off the frustrations. You know, sometimes, uh, sometimes it is frustrating when you, when you're in front of the camera for a long time and you're just not feeling like it's coming across good, you know, you don't feel like you're doing a good job, shake it off. You know, uh, start with your, your arms, start with your hands, uh, work your way up, you know, move your neck and your head and maybe jump around and, 
Uh, maybe punch something in the air if you're uh, extra frustrated. But get all that emotion out. Get loose. Uh, feel more um, alive and just upbeat. Uh, so that that goes with a smile and laugh. It's just kind of get loose. The third thing you can do is to tell some funny stories. And, and I know this can feel awkward when it's just you in front of the camera trying to tell a funny story. There's no audience. There's no feedback. But if you just have a, a smile on your face and kind of laugh at yourself, even if it's not a hilarious story, if it's just um, a humorous story, that will come across on camera very good as well. The fourth thing you can do that is simple, but it does really make your, your course video less boring, is do a demonstration or an experiment. Now, I don't know if you've seen the YouTube series called Will It Blend? So if you just Google will it blend iPhone or will it blend iPad or whatever? There is a company that they sell blenders. And you might think, wow, blenders, you know, that's hard to make fun and interesting. And so they do something when a new iPhone comes out or iPad or almost any technology that you can fit in a blender, <laughs> they put it in the blender and they blend it up. And so they make something that, you know, typically you know, blender companies might say, hey, you can make smoothies and you can make this, but they take it a step further and, and, and show something in their blender that you normally wouldn't, hopefully, put in a blender. So how can you do a demonstration or experiment that will take your lesson, your course video, out from lecture mode and into experimentation and demonstration mode? And I think that's where a lot of learning is, takes place. So this is where screen capture videos are so good. Uh, so you might open the video with you being on camera so the audience can get to know, like, and trust you. Then you switch over to a screen capture video where you show people the software you're using on your, your computer or whatever is on your computer, and you can demonstrate that. Now, if you're just teaching something that is offline, meaning it's not on your computer, it's not on something that you can demonstrate online or on a computer, Hey, do a hands-on demonstration, you know, whether it's a, a cooking show or, you know, how to light a fire with sticks, you know, something like that. Obviously, show them, don't just tell them about it. All right, the fifth strategy to create simple videos for your online courses is to incorporate some funny videos from YouTube. And so while this shouldn't be the, the primary part of your course, this might be supplemental material. Uh, as you're teaching, you might say, hey, for example, check out this Will It Blend video by Blendtec. And you cut to that video and you show it, and then you cut back to yourself and you talk about it. So that might be a way to have other visual examples. It might be a funny video, it might be a demonstration or experiment video. You know, maybe uh, your course is about science, and so you want to bring in a video of a scientist uh, demonstrating or doing an experiment. That would be a way to vary up the videos or change you know, what, the, what the student is seeing without you always having to create all the content. And again, I think your course should have your content. We're not going to be ripping off other people's videos or have a whole course based on you know, other videos that aren't yours. But I think it's okay to have you know, a, a few videos that you pull in as demonstrations. Now, the sixth simple way to make your online course video less boring is to use graphics, cutaways, B-rolls, or anything else to showcase what you're talking about. And I know I keep hammering this home, I say it in different ways, is demonstrate, don't lecture. So if you can use graphics, photos, uh, cutaways, B-roll, you know, anything that you're trying to showcase, make sure to put that in your videos. And I actually talk about several of my preferred and recommended uh, resources in the, the third video of the My Faster, Smarter, Cheaper Tools to Create Online Courses and Videos. So again, go to easyvideoforcourses.com. You can get that third, you can get all three videos, of course, for free. But that third video talks about some places where I uh, find graphics for my course videos. And then in the course, I go more in depth. I have an actual uh, uh, module dedicated to this topic because I think it's so important. And, and this is something that can get, uh, can be a barrier to entry for some people or a frustration point. You know, you think, I know I need different graphics and cutaways, but it's so expensive and I don't want to hire a designer. And 
Well, there are different uh, websites and resources. Many of them are very cheap where you can just uh, purchase them and put them in your course. Or even you can hire somebody to create custom graphics and they're not overly expensive. It's really, really cool. So, you know, I don't consider myself a designer. However, you know, when I use these resources, I feel like they make me look like a professional designer. So again, check out that third video, the smarter, faster, cheaper tools to create online courses and videos. If you go to easyvideoforcourses.com, you can check that out. All right. The seventh simple way to make your online course video less boring is to talk with your hands and don't be too stiff. You know, as, as a lot of you know, I've been uh, running a video production company since 2003. And, and whether we work with CEOs or, or all the way down, a lot of times people ask, hey, what am I supposed to do with my hands? And they don't know if they're allowed to talk with their hands or if they should just, you know, fold their hands in their, in their laps and, and be as straight as a board. And I always ask them, hey, what do you normally do? Are you somebody that does talk with your hands? And if so, I always recommend them to talk with their hands. And so when you're on camera, don't be too stiff. Use your hands. Even if you don't talk with your hands a lot, you know, I have some Italian friends and they always joke about how they, they can't um, talk without using their hands. And so maybe you're somebody that doesn't necessarily talk with your hands, but if you can just make a few gestures and, and that actually loosens up your body, it, it makes you uh, just less stiff, less boring it will make your course videos less boring. All right, so again, these are 10 simple ways. These, these aren't rocket science, but a lot of times people don't think of these if you know most, most of you aren't making videos on a regular basis, and so maybe you haven't thought about some of these. So while they are simple, they are very effective. All right, so the eighth simple tip is, and this goes back to number one and two with smiling and laughing, is if you think you're being too goofy or silly with your smile and expressions, you're probably just about at the start of actually looking friendly on camera because you think you're being more pleasant than you are. So, you know, a lot of times when we're doing videos, uh, the person thinks they look goofy or silly or whatever. And you know what? They, they kind of just look like they're about to become at that level of uh, pleasantness or, or looking friendly or approachable or, or whatever. So don't feel like you're being too goofy. Now, obviously you can cross that line. You can actually look goofy, sound goofy, look crazy. Uh, but most of the time people don't cross that line. Uh, so especially, uh, I, I like to study different personality traits. And for those of you that are familiar with the disc profile, uh, you know, the, the people that are C's and D's generally aren't as, um, don't have as, as much of a smile on their face. And I know I'm being over, you know, generalizing here. So a lot of different people don't smile enough on camera. So again, if you think you're being too goofy or silly, um, look at it again, watch the video again, show it to somebody else and say, Hey, do you think I'm being too goofy or over, over the top here? chances are they're going to say, oh, no, you look great. And so don't worry if you have too much of a smile on your face or if you're, you're smiling or laughing or whatever, it's probably okay. And now with that, and with your course videos, show these to other people, you know, whether that's your, uh, your spouse, your friends, your family, your uh, coworkers, or, or your, a couple people from your ideal audience, show them your first video and get feedback. Don't record, you know, all, all of your modules and then come back and ask, record one and see how it turns out. And then you can make, uh, then you can make adjustments as you go. All right. The ninth simple step or simple tip to make your online course videos less boring is go on a brisk walk before you record yourself. And studies actually show this will give you a positive attitude, which makes you more upbeat and it loosens you up. So this could be go on a walk, do jumping jacks, uh, do your morning workout, do something that gets you uh, moving, active, get your heart beat up a little bit. And so you're not just, you know, sitting in your, your office chair for five hours and then you decide in the afternoon to kind of slowly get up and you're kind of tired, even though you've maybe had some coffee or something and, 
you just get in front of the camera and you just talk and you don't really smile and don't really use some stories. See how boring that is? All right, so get up, move around, and get that heartbeat up. It'll loosen you up. It'll give you a more positive attitude and it will reflect more positively on your videos. All right, the 10th simple step to make your online course videos less boring is to have someone sit behind the camera so you can feel like you're talking to someone. So a lot of times I find that people are intimidated by just talking to the camera. And I'm not sure why this is. You know, there are ways to turn that uh, record light off if you're using a camera that has one of those. Or if you're on your you know, iPhone or whatever, maybe it's just intimidating for whatever reason. So maybe have somebody behind the camera that you're talking to. Or, hey, you could even have your dog or cat sit there near the camera and maybe you just talk to them. You don't look at them, uh, but you, you, know, you look at the camera, but you're just talking to your dog or cat. I don't know. Maybe that'll help. Maybe not. Another thing you can do, and this is what I do, is I picture one of my students. You know, I picture somebody that, that I'm directly talking to. And even on this podcast, let's, let's be honest, you know, I'm sitting here in my office by myself. It can feel kind of lonely, kind of, kind of strange. I envision a lot of those of a, a lot of you, excuse me, that I've talked to uh, on social media. Uh, we've talked on the phone, through email. I envision how I can help those individuals, those of you personally. I don't think about all the people that are listening because sometimes that can feel intimidating. Hey, if you think, hey, thousands of people might might watch this course video, it, it might feel intimidating. But if you just focus in on one student, just how would you teach them? How would you convey the message so that they could learn the content? So here's another kind of simple strategy or simple tip that you could do. You could print out uh, a person's face and you could um, tape it next to your camera so that you think, hey, my ideal audience, my ideal student is this uh, age, gray, uh, age range, this uh, gender, this background, this um, income, whatever that is that you feel like would help you to visualize your ideal student, that might help as well. All right, so let's review the 10 simple ways to make your online course videos less boring. The first one is smile. Number two, laugh right before you start each take. The third is tell some funny stories. Number four, do a demonstration or experiment. Number five, include some funny videos from YouTube. Number six, use graphics, cutaways, B-rolls, or other things to showcase what you're talking about. Number seven is talk with your hands. Number eight, if you think you're being too goofy, silly, or smiling too much, you're probably just at the start of actually looking friendly on camera. Number nine, go on a brisk walk before you record yourself. And number 10, have somebody sit near the camera so you can feel like you're talking to somebody. So those are the 10 simple ways to make your online course videos less boring, more engaging, and easier to watch for your students. So which one of those will you be using, or, or all of them, hopefully? Uh, because I know that that is one of the biggest struggles with people and their online course videos, is really uh, making them not boring. <laughs> all right, so those are the 10 simple strategies. All right, so I'm just going to take a, a minute or so to go over the content of Easy Video for Courses. Again, you can go to easyvideoforcourses.com. You can get those three free videos immediately, and then you can watch them all right now, or you can skip right over and check out the course content. Now, I will say this, the course and the free videos are coming down November 11th, so do make sure to sign up for those and get those as soon as possible. Like I said, I might be releasing this course next year. It will cost more. Um, so now is definitely the time to jump into that. And I'm not just saying that, hey, try to you know, get you to buy this now. Um, you know, this is uh, something that I've, I've heard a lot of feedback. People struggle with you know, thinking videos are too complex, too costly, too complicated. Uh, wow, those are all Cs. Um, or, or maybe they don't want to be on camera. And so they want ways to, a lot, of, a lot of you, a lot of other people have asked me how to create effective videos really without spending too much time or money. And so um, I created these 10 modules. So the first module is the most effective types of videos for online courses and when to use each. And so we go over different types of course content and I, I actually dive into three of them. 
where you don't even have to be on camera. The second module is DIY iPhone video for courses, where we'll talk about the right apps to use for uh, video editing, the best uh, teleprompter app to use if you have to use a teleprompter app, as well as different equipment like uh, tripods and, and audio and different equipment that are specifically for a smartphone. The third module is easy screen capture tips and tricks. And I've created hundreds of screen capture videos. So I'll give you my simple and fast setup to get the most out of your screen capture software, as well as how to make screen capture videos look professionally made without spending a lot of time making them. Number four is where to find professional graphics at bargain prices. So I give you my go-to resources for graphics, uh, where to find PowerPoint templates that you can quickly customize. So I do realize that, you know, a lot of your videos might be PowerPoint driven. That's okay. Uh, let's be honest. Some of the PowerPoint, even keynote uh, templates are kind of boring. We've all kind of seen them. So where can you find very cheap and affordable uh, PowerPoint or keynote templates that you can easily customize? And then where can you find stock photos and stock videos that look really good, but aren't expensive? So that's in module four. Module five is seven strategies to get confident in front of the camera, because I find that a lot of people, you know, get nervous, get scared, and that's normal. You know, a lot of times I don't feel extremely confident, and that's why I created this module. It's my simple system for being on camera, delivering your best content, and not freaking out. And then we'll talk about what to wear to look for your, look at, excuse me, what to wear on camera to make you look your best, and how to write a very simple script without reading it on camera. Especially that's really good for those of you that you know want to read scripts. I, I talk about that, about scripts and, and my strategies for not reading your script on camera. The sixth module is creating teaching, excuse me, creative teaching strategies to make effective course content. So I talk about where to find people that are looking for your expertise and how to create content for them simple ways to create content that your students will remember forever, and the easiest types of videos to create. Number seven is all about video equipment and software. So we talk about quality options from free to advanced. So like uh, the best video cameras and editing platforms and editing software that's either free to expensive. And there's benefits to all of those that we go over. The eighth module is lighting techniques and equipment from free to advanced. So we talk about when to use natural lights in your videos and where to position yourself in your camera. We talk about why you should consider buying studio lights. Not that you have to, but you might want to consider it. And the simple guide to setting up your studio lights, even in a small room. And then the ninth module is getting great sounding audio in all your videos, even if you're on a budget. So I talk about three types of microphones you should consider and which one might be the best for you and even how to get the best audio out of your smartphone. And then the 10th module is all about putting it all together. How to get your video files online, organized, and ready to sell. So I give you the two options to consider and the one popular hosting company not to use, and then where to put your video files so they play smoothly on any device. Because let's face it, once you make these awesome videos, where do you put them online? I go into depth about my, um, my hosting options, about what I use for my courses. And then I have some bonuses. I have 11 creative videos to make if you don't wanna be on camera. The second bonus is the easy video for course creators template, where I share a custom template you can use for all your online course videos. You just quickly plug into your, you plug in your ideas and easy, excuse me, and easily make your own course content in no time. And then also the third bonus is video teaching techniques, six strategies to teach effectively in your videos. Now, like I said at the beginning, I have three packages. The film student package is just the 10 modules. The Spielberg package is the 10 modules and the three bonuses I just listed. The Oscar package has the 10 video modules the three bonuses, as well as two additional bonuses, like outsourcing secrets for video creators, how to outsource your videos to save time and money. So I, I show you exactly the steps that I use uh, to find VAs, virtual assistants. I give my script 
of what I post because if you don't post the right information, you're not going to find the right person for the job. And then the fifth bonus is how to create easy transcriptions. And this is really powerful because it can help people that don't speak your language or maybe they want to read along as you are talking. So I give a couple different resources that are very affordable as well as one resource that's completely free and it's awesome. And then the third uh, bonus there, or the third thing in the Oscar package is a Q&A webinar to answer your questions. We'll do a live webinar where you can ask me anything, and I'll tell you exactly the steps I've done or what I recommend. So again, you can go to easyvideoforcourses.com to learn more about um, those in, all of those things, the, the course, the bonuses, everything. You can also get those three free videos that I mentioned at the beginning of the show which are the 10 strategies to create effective videos in half the time, seven rookie mistakes people make in their online course videos and how to fix them, and my faster, smarter, cheaper tools to create online courses and videos. And don't forget, between the free videos and the course, there are over $800 in prizes and discounts that I'll be giving away, which is pretty cool. So don't make sure to learn uh, more about that, which actually to, to register, all you have to do is leave a comment on those three videos. So you can just watch one of the videos, leave a comment. That's fine. You still are registered. But the more comments you make, the more chances you have, of course. All right. So that is the easy video for courses.com uh, website that you can go to to learn more. Well, there you go. I hope you learned a lot from 10 simple ways to make your online course videos less boring. Let me know which strategy you like the best and also head over to easyvideoforcourses.com. Hey, keep coming back to the show. Well, we'll get into more interviews and more uh, different topics besides videos here in the coming weeks, uh, but keep coming back. I really like the engagement, uh, the, the questions you've emailed and asked me. And so uh, I appreciate those of you that have reached out, which has been a lot of fun. So keep coming back to the show where it is really my goal to help you to teach many as you impact millions.